What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro. Coming at you guys with a another Carfe Vanguard deck profile. Um, this one's going to be on the TD version of, well, TD build of uh, Neo Nectar. So, yeah. So I'm, I just put together four decks, and I did use the Hajime O cards and some promo cards that I had available to me, but I will be going through and telling you, letting you know what exactly could be replaced for these cards instead of what I'm putting in, just to be clear. So, starter, we don't really have a really big choice. We just play um, the starter that Generation Break 1, search your deck for a Flower Maiden, which is basically this card, the Grade 3 Flower Maiden. So it's still a good card, it's still relevant, but just um, the top 5 uh, grade 3 searcher is a lot better, in my opinion. And then we run 4 Asha, I think her name is, uh, 4 of her. So we run, um, so her ability, um, if you guys aren't aware, is that Generation Break generation break 2, and then um, she gives the effect to all of the cards that, if there's another one of that one, then they gain plus... Um, 5,000 and then there's also the stride ability of counter blast one and when the attack uh, Just no, sorry just counter blast one and then you can superior call a card that you duplicate um, On your rear guard and that card gains plus 2,000 Then we run one as the promo, but this is also coming out in the booster set too So you could easily get it. It's just that this one's in hollow of the promo card um, this card is you could easily swap out for the next card I'm going to show you. But this card, its ability is that when it hits the Vanguard on Generation Break 1, you can counter blast one and superior call one card other than this card from your rear guard. Uh, onto rear guard, sorry. Yeah. Then the card that you can swap out for this card is just uh, another one of these cards. Her ability is that Generation Break 1, she gains plus 6,000. And then when she's called to Vanguard Circle, you can counter blast two. And look at the top five cards, and then superior call up to two of the same card from them. So it's pretty powerful. It does give you, like, it's earlier than, it doesn't have to hit, which is a big advantage because a lot of the other ones that do have the ability say that they have to hit. So it's pretty helpful. Um, that's rounding off for grade threes. We play eight. Uh, grade twos, we run 11. We run four 10k vanillas because 10k vanillas are good. And I just realized that this is out of frame. One second. There you go. Uh, four 10k vanillas. We run then afterwards three of this girl. So her ability is uh, generation break one, counter boss one, superior one, uh, copy one and superior call it from your deck to the field. So it's pretty powerful. Um, it is a generation break one, which is why we don't run to too many. But also you could technically replace uh, the next, you could add another one of these for the next card to replace the next card because this is also in BTO2, BT2. Um, it is the um, pinwheel dragon. So generation break one, when it attacks, hits the vanguard, you can unflip two damage. So it's powerful. It's really good. It's just that, you know, it's generation break one. So you don't want to run to too many, even if you do have more. Then to round off, we run three Generation Break 1 12k attackers. Uh, now moving on to Grade 1s, we run four 8k Vanillas. It's a pretty standard thing to do because you have... the That's like your main target that you want to duplicate for Grade 1s. Um, then we run three of the... Um, sorry. Uh, three of the... Um, Stride pay cost person that becomes a grade three when you're paying for a stride. Um, I only have three because I only ha got three, but you could technically run four. It's the seven k body that you want, and it's really important that you have seven k bodies. Um, if you don't, then I can show you something else to play. But I'll tell you that after once I also show you this card. It's the um, her the another promo from the booster set two that's going to be available. It's her ability is that generation break one, and you can. Uh, you can put her into soul and then uh, choose up to four of the same cards and give each of those plus 5,000. So, pretty powerful card. Um, you could technically, for these four, you could technically run the card, you could run um, the 10k attackers at Generation Break 1, or you could play the card that 
when it has 6k, when your opponent's attacking and it gains plus 5,000 and it's a 6k body, so it becomes 11 on your opponent's turn. That's also a good option, but in this case of the deck, I just run instead two of these um, boosters, two of the uh, Vanguard boosters on Generation Break 1, give plus 10k boosters. Um, the reason why I run two, reason why I wouldn't run this over the other one is because I'd rather have the boost power, and it's an, it's a better target to duplicate late game because um, you're duplicating. You could have this over here, but since you can duplicate it, it's a lot easier to get into the Vanguard Circle than with most other builds. So that's what I found is pretty neat with this deck. You can it's better, it's easier tutoring abilities to get a certain column set up. And then to round off, we run four. Uh, really cute pumpkin normal sentinels now, the common ones. So no one flipping. Uh, then we run four heals. Like basically whatever they give you in the trial deck, you have to run for triggers. Uh, four critical. This is a pretty nice crit actually. Like the, the art style for Neo Nectar is quite nice. For the trial deck at least. Uh, four of the stand triggers. And then four of the cutest draw triggers I have ever seen. It, they're so cute. But yeah, just rainbow triggers, guys. Standard rainbow triggers type of stuff. You can't really do much with it. But, in, you know, it still works. And then for uh, stride unit, for G units, we run four of the um, girl. I don't remember her ability. I mean her name, but basically her ability is that when she's vanguard, if, she attack, if her attack hits the vanguard, you can... Um, you can, if her attack hits the vanguard, you can select a, you can copy one and then superior call it and have it gain plus two thousand. So it does apply a lot of pressure to the opponent. It's actually very relevant compared to the Chrono Jet one, uh, the Chrono Jet trial deck one, which wasn't very relevant. This is still somewhat relevant to the build. You can still possibly play it with, including the other cards. And just another quick little note: it's um, this card it applies a lot of pressure also because it says. On hit, so but it doesn't say whenever, like during the main phase or the you can do it during the battle phase, so you could technically attack, hit, and then superior call a duplicate from an open open uh, open column, or just refill an empty uh, a filled column with a new unit to attack. So this deck does have a lot of versatility and a lot of tutoring ability. It's not like exactly Royal Paladin, but in the sense it is a very cool form of Royal Paladin duplication, and the artwork in my opinion, is a lot better. But apart from that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, all right, I forgot. Uh, these are usually sleeves, so um, I don't usually know exactly what to do with a TD deck, so usually I might just end up doing these, put these on. But yeah, that's just a little information because I feel that I usually say that in every video now. But apart from that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy this and want to look, um, want to see more Cardiff of Vanguard and Waste content. And until next time, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off. Bye!